Hello there! Have you ever found yourself embarking on a very lengthy, very boring road trip, staring morosely out the window while silently musing to yourself, surely there must be an assortment of random and impractical Amazon items that I could purchase to improve my vehicular traveling experiences? Of course you have. Luckily for you, I just purchased an assortment of very random and probably impractical Amazon items to improve my own vehicular traveling experiences. And I am here to try them out so that you don't have to. And I, being a literal nomad who lives in a house on wheels, have a lot of experience in long travel days and being a professional passenger princess. I did have to open and unbox all of my goodies beforehand because some of them required charging, some of them required additional items, and some of them required a sturdiness test. <laughs> and some of them required a good cleansing because I don't like to put nasty things in my mouth. <laughs> Terrible. And yes, I did fit in the time to demonstrate to my cat how dumb he looked trying to rip into all those packages at 2 a.m. for the entire week that they sat in my bedroom. Now, before we dive head first into my experience trying all of these items, I do need to allow Travel Rainy to properly introduce you to the truck. Welcome, 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 welcome. So the first item that I purchased in my haul of goodies to improve my travel day wasn't supposed to be exactly a helpful tool, unlike all of the other items that I purchased, but it did pop up during my search for items to improve a travel day, and it made me laugh out loud for a solid 37 seconds straight. So I knew that I had to purchase it immediately. It is Nicolas Cage coming out of a <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> banana peel. Is that going on my rear view? <laughs> yeah. Naturally, before I could actually hang him in the truck and we could discover if he actually smelled like bananas, we had to come up with a name for our new dangling friend. I was thinking Nick Peelis Cage. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I was so overjoyed with this purchase that I immediately logged onto Amazon to leave it a glowing review. And as soon as I slapped five stars onto that bad boy, Amazon informed me that if I rated just six more items, it would tell me a joke. Challenge accepted. The next item that I purchased to improve my long travel days seemed honestly very promising, and it had the potential to be my favorite purchase that I had ever made in the history of ever. Because I love coffee, and I love easy to use no-brainer items, and I love anything that's going to help improve my travel day, which this item claimed to be perfect for. The Zuom Portable Espresso Maker. Or if you go off of the name listed on Amazon, the Zuom Pro Table Espresso Machine. That maybe should have tipped me off to the quality of this product, but it didn't. Actually, the fact that it had 12 pieces. Maybe it's that? And then this? No. Wildly complicated instructions. Put the coffee capsule into the powder container lid. Put the capsule container into the powder container lid. Is that different? And that the list of instructions use different names for the pieces than the names for the items on the actual product structure. Put it into the powder container lid, and then when you look over to figure out which piece is that, it's the powder container cover. All of this should have tipped me off to the quality of this product. But it didn't. Because I, much like Seabiscuit, <laughs> wanted to be a symbol of hope for the exhausted, under-caffeinated American citizen. So I persevered for 20 minutes through the most nonsensical, confusing instructions that I have ever read in my entire life. Put the capsule container into the powder container lid. I don't know where this goes, because I'm assuming the powder container cover, which is eight, which is... into the powder container lid. Is that this? Press the strap back and forth with you hand. This is seriously complicated. Okay. And... That's the progress. <gasps> Shut up. My joy, however, was pretty fleeting once I got a good look at what I had created. Oh no. It looks like 
what comes out of the black tank. Oh my gosh, it's leaking everywhere. But as the old saying goes, you can't judge a cup of coffee by its soury color and grainy consistency. So as Keith so eloquently put it, Time's up. Oh my god. This is terrible. This is the worst thing I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I want you to try it. You spit it back in there. I didn't. <laughs> that didn't happen. I am not trying your Just sweet try it. coffee. You know when you see those one-star comments on Amazon with that angry all caps lock comment that reads, If I could give this zero stars, I would. Yeah, that was me. The next item in my haul of goodies was a car cleaning gel. And my intention with that was that it would help me to aid Keith in maintaining the cleanliness of the truck. Ooh, do you remember those fart machines when you were a kid? <laughs> Once I had gotten that all out of my system, no, don't just wipe that nasty chemical thing all over my truck. But it's clean! No! <laughs> it's show the before and after! Show the before and after! I'm gonna shove it into the air vent. I'm gonna shove it in there. I mean, it does a pretty good job! Gimmick. No! Zero stars. <laughs> okay, I still never convinced Keith. In fact, my flubber knockoff was officially banned from the truck the moment he caught a whiff of its chemical aroma, but I still love it, and thus gave it a four star rating. These next two items really go with a theme, and I wanted to preface them by setting the scene for you, so to speak. So Keith, would you say that you're going to take me out on a date tonight? No. I actually would not. <laughs> would you say that you're about to take me on a date night tonight? Okay, yes. If you have seen my video on driving down the worst highway in North America, then you saw how painting my nails in the truck went for me the last time I attempted it. Okay, n wait, no. So when I saw that there existed an item that would help me to paint my nails in the truck and simultaneously put Keith's spilling concerns at ease, I had to try it. For Keith. Tweaksy! The faster, easier, no mess, wearable nail polish bottle holder. And look at the security, Keith. It goes on two fingers. I don't understand it's how, how is putting it on your hand, attaching it to your hand, make it less messy? It just does! Yes, I am very good at winning arguments. Why do you ask? Okay, well, Keith may have made a valid point in saying that slapping the nail polish onto my two fingers like a ring pop really didn't make painting my nails in the truck any easier, or frankly, make painting my nails any easier in literally any scenario. How would we know if I didn't try? How would we know? Because I value my marriage and my life, I picked a clear nail polish just in case, even though I don't think there's any possibility Does of this getting happen. anywhere. Ooh, yes, princess time. Wow. Five stars. Next. Five stars. Next. Next. <laughs> While I think we can all collectively agree that Keith suddenly became overly generous with his star ratings, it did perform exactly as it claimed that it would, and it didn't spill anywhere, and the ring didn't go flying off my finger, even when I did this. If you like it, then you shouldn't put a ring on it. <laughs> Therefore, I gave it a five-star rating. Next up on the theme of Keith taking me out on a date night that I forced him into, probably the riskiest item purchase in this entire video. Why? Because I didn't know if it was going to blow up the truck or worse, seriously tangle my hair. She needs to sort out her priorities. That's right, I purchased the wireless curling iron from the brand Wazongs. 
which shockingly isn't nearly as aggressive or bizarre as the words on the box. Now at the time, I did not look up what these meant in English, and I cannot speak to the accuracy of this, but according to Google, they mean never were beautiful and lure so easy, which sounds promising to me. From the Amazon reviews, anyone that has longer hair than like ah, shoulder length said that they had to charge and use this entire thing three times to get their whole head. Oh my God. <laughs> After finding only one video tutorial online that wasn't even for my specific device, reading through instructions that made just about as much sense as the espresso machine, and with the Wazonks packaging silently mocking me in the corner about how I never were beautiful, the time finally came for me to sacrifice my hair. Smells like burning, for sure. But like, totally worked. What? I don't have to keep going on about how great the curls turned out. You have eyes, use them. Use your special eyes. I not only finished my whole head, but supposedly according to the little thing, I still have like half battery left. I'm pretty stoked on this thing. I could see myself doing this watching TV or like in the swimming pool. I think it goes without saying that this iron absolutely exceeded my expectations and improved my travel day. So five stars and unlike the espresso machine, I would give this six stars if I could. It's time now for a romantic date night in the truck because nothing says amour quite like McDonald's french fries. I have actually been seeing these next two items on the internet for years. And while they might not be the most exciting items that I purchased for this video, they may be the most intriguing to some very saucy people. And I mean that in the most literal sense imaginable. This little dipping sauce holder. <laughs> All you do with it is stick it right in here. Oh my gosh, that's pretty cool though. Is it cool? Yes. Would it remain secure if I were to drive down a mildly bumpy road instead of sitting stationary in a McDonald's parking lot? Nah. And if that's not great enough, we also got something to do with your fries. <laughs> Arguably not very exciting, but is it practical? So for those two items, which I am honestly lumping together as one because they really went hand in hand, I have to give three stars. But nothing had me quite as excited as my date night theme slash travel day improvement item as much as this mini fridge. <laughs> it doesn't take much to excite me. And yes, almost all of our travel days are done exclusively while hauling our entire RV right behind us, which has a fully operational and easily accessible refrigerator right in the front door, but it's not as cute. However, much like a pug with breathing problems, cute things do have their flaws. It claims on the box to carry eight cans. I'm sure how you'd even get four cans in there to be frank. <laughs> Hear me when I say this, I wanted to give this a five star rating, but it just seemed like a pretty steep price for a refrigerator that could only fit two large cans, maybe a string cheese and a mini can of tomato paste. So I had to give it a two star rating, one star for each very cold can that it could hold because they were very cold. Are the drinks cold? That's the big question. Oh, they're very cold. Okay. Oh my gosh. And before you go running off to watch another one of my equally entertaining videos, I have to tell you the Amazon review joke. Remember? Art thou ready for the triumphant jest? What do you call a store that sells only bagels and donuts? Whole Foods. <laughs> Worth it.